Hi, it's Gordon at Avalites. Now I'm going to show you how to work with times in palettes that you have recorded. I'm going to use my beams again for this example. They're currently all red. If I want them to go to blue, I of course can tap that blue palette. If I want this to be a smooth fade, what I can do is add one step into this process. If I say three on my console, I then tap a palette then over three seconds, these lights are gonna to fade to this palette that I have chosen. This is gonna work with position information as well. If I move my capture visualizer window over to this side, I can say three and tap that position palette. That means that all of these lights are gonna take three seconds to go to that position rather than just going to that position straight away. One very popular feature is using fixture overlap. This is where the console will pay attention to your fixture order. If I type in a percentage less than 100% and have a look on my soft keys at the moment, you can see overlap is 100%. This means all of those fixtures are going to go to 100% of their instructions. If I set overlap to 50%, which is the number I have typed in, this setting is now going to stay inside my console. Tap in exit to go back in that menu one step. I'll go right from scratch. Now that I've set that overlap, if I say three blue, it's gonna perform a nice smooth fade looking at the fixed order of that group. So it's gonna go across that rig. This is also true with positions. If I say five and then tap a position, it's gonna use that overlap up until I tell the console that I'd like the overlap to be 100% again. I'm going to type in 100 and have a look at my soft keys. I can then say three red and all those lights are going to go over the same time once again. To make your life a little bit more fluid if you're operating a show on the fly, have a look at some of the macros inside the show library as there's a few quick options for this that you can copy straight from the show library onto one of your workspace macro and executor buttons and keep these nice smooth fades and these nice overlaps. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.